Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Carly. And I'm Edge. And today we're watching Hunter Hunter episodes 79 and 80. So the Queen Ant has really started to put together some sort of serious army here. She's making moves. <laughs> She's making moves. I mean, we've got some human hybrid or chimera ants right now already. And, and this army is progressively becoming more dangerous and also more intelligent. Yeah, I feel like the army is becoming stronger just because of the hierarchy of the whole thing. Like we've got the three king's guards that are about to be born too, mm -hmm. and I'm getting a vibe. I hope they at least look cool. Yeah. But yeah, I'm getting a vibe too. And then we've also got Gon, Kite, Kite's friends, Killua, they're all flying to the the, the country, the not gonna lie country. NGL. Yeah. Um, National Greenland. Yeah, that's right. And then there's also some older characters uh, who we met in the first arc who we're going to start to see a little bit more of, and that's Ponzu. And I looked up the guy's name. Yes, what is it? It's Pockle. Oh, I would never have got that. Same. <laughs> okay, I feel Same. a bit better about that now. <laughs> Ponzu and Pockle, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I didn't um, expect to be seeing them again, but that's cool. No, so they're going to be getting involved. I was I always got the impression that we're gonna see Sai tomorrow again. What was that guy's name? Hanzo. Oh. Was it Hanzo? I think it was Hanzo. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I, I got that impression. I thought we were gonna see him maybe one day. He seemed like a more highlighted character than the others, but this is fine as well. Um so Ponzu and Pockle are gonna get involved. If you guys are interested in signing up to our Patreon, you'll gain three to four weeks of early access to our current shows, and you'll also find reactions that are exclusive to our Patreon. If you're interested, you can check out our link in the description below. But anyway, should we get into it? Let's get into it. I think the bugs are bigger than the humans. They are, aren't they? Yeah. Knowing that's all made of crap <laughs> makes me a bit uneasy. It's their shit cave. Cult. Peggy. Similar yeah. to Kurt. Very basic. <laughs> Very basic names. That's easier for us. Yep. Oh. Yeah, he treats like sport as well. Very true to their um, nature of the dominant gene in them, you know? Like cheetah, crocodile. Yeah. But I like it how they're still very representative of ants. Like Colt kept saying, we need to served the queen, mm -hmm. even though he's got some human in him. We didn't like that. Mm. Mm -hmm. He was saying something like this last episode. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. I'm impressed and terrified. <laughs> oh, shit. He went back after him. <laughs> He's funny. Really got that human, those human genes in him now because... Revenge. So, yeah, selfishness and all that sort of thing. Yeah. I kind of like it how they're writing that. Mm. <laughs> Oops. Oh my gosh. What is with anime and mosquitoes, man? Shit. Wait, so even non-hunters can go? I mean, he didn't even ask for ID, did okay. he not? Okay. 
This is the only exception. <laughs> Shit. Oh no, not the glasses. Oh come on. Oh my gosh. They I are think the guy's just a bit of an etchy. They are full on what? Etchy? Oh yeah, oh I see what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> Running a side business. Of, yeah, it'll be like some sort of big leaf or some shit. <laughs> some bark. Ooh, okay. I actually really like how Gone and Killua look. <laughs> it's still their colours. Yeah. <laughs> I take oh this gosh. really yeah. seriously. <laughs> Watch there be metal in Killua from when his family stabbed him all those times. <laughs> like shards or some shit yeah. just stuck in him. <laughs> yup. Watch it look amazing. Looking a bit desolate. A little bit kind desolate. Of shit. Kind, of, kind of shit, Carly. I'm not going to lie. Oh, dear. I've been let down. Yeah. Oh, that's a bit better. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Look at Killua. <laughs> I just quickly glanced there and saw it for one second. I trust his gut. Seems like his gut wouldn't lie. Yeah, he tends to have like good instincts with this sort of shit as well. I mean, otherwise he probably wouldn't have been able to find Jing. Yeah. True. What the oh, bloody hell is that? A koala. Really cute. <laughs> Tiny Kali, don't be deceived. Koala. Yeah, but Kali, look how big the feet are. That's a red flag. <laughs> yeah. How could he? Oh, was that like a bullet? Like a water bullet? I saw it in yeah. his head. Oh. This like, what's goose. going on? <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so sophisticated. Who appointed him leader? The the queen? No one wants him as the leader. No. <laughs> Terrible For work this ethic. squadron. He's got no clue. Oh, he's going to tell him to oh, let the baby go, please, please. I thought they had to get the the adults. Yeah, he's going to tell him. Less nutritious. But do you think there's more to it with this? Yeah. With cult? cult yeah, definitely. Maybe subconsciously, yeah, he wanted to save the kid, but I, I don't know. Oh, they can't, stupid. they can't speak English. Yeah. So, or Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, they'd be on the lower end. I 
made look at the claw scratches or whatever it is on their back. Not great. These ones seem like they're easy to take down. Yeah, they're saying. they're like part of that first line of ants or whatever it was. Yeah. Before they started, con this is from the fish, from all uh, the fish okay, yeah, or something yeah. maybe that that it's she like was a eating. Like cockroach and a cricket. Yeah. From like bugs and the shit. Yeah, the weak line. That's right. Oh shit! Yeah, they no issue. Okay, whatsoever. great. Oh, you could have finished off the other two. Oh, koala, the damn water koala pistol. Koala ruthless. She can. She can defend herself, it's all good. She doesn't have her hunter license. She needs to know Nen oh, and yeah. all that. Just wait till she sees one of the human ones. Ooh. Two with one shot. Okay. Yeah, Pop no, she's gonna Puckles. He's alright. Oh my gosh. Absolute being massacre. Sorted. Yeah. Oh shit. Can you relax? <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, must be mating seasons for the mosquitoes. You think that's where One Punch Man got their inspiration from? Uh, maybe. Oh, is it, this is Yiro. Oh, this is Yiros. Hello was thinking up some sh some shit. He's mm. cooking something. You just know it. <laughs> Evil and terrible. I'm mean, gonna assume that's uh, describing the ants and and not Yiro. <laughs> Oh. oh shit. Killed his dad. Yeah. This is reminding me of like the Phantom Troops upbringing. Same sort of sad. Aww. Okay, so this is obviously a very structured and organized individual. Hmm. That's what I'm getting from this. That was his only sense of purpose there, but then he ended up killing him anyway. So he was never sure if he even loved him. Okay. Oh shit. Oh no, stop talking. Oh no. Yeah, this is why he kills him. Yeah. That's gonna mess up any kid. I just walked off. What a prick. Wow. I'm gonna need something nice to happen to Yiro. Yiro looks like Darth Vader now, so... Sure, he, he's made a good name for himself. I don't know if it's a good name, but he's made a name for himself, regardless. Wow. 
probably the best backstory we've had. Well, it's better than Jinx's backstory. <laughs> or present story. They went on to do some big things. Looks like the front man. Shit, imagine they consume. Consume gyro. Oh no. Great. Oh, great. This guy's nips are insane. Disgusting. We can just forget about it if these bugs learn about Nen. It's over. Yeah, imagine they just start teaching themselves and and figure it out really quick. Yeah, they've already got wind of it. They have gyro. Yep, still keeping the queen safe. I feel like he's the only one that's loyal to her. Oh shit, that's a big revelation that. Mm. The free will there too. The ability to, to learn, think for themselves. Ants don't do that. Oh shit! Decapitation? Oh, dude. What? This ant has no chill, man. How is this happening right now? His head was talking for the little time it had left. Gosh, I just snuffed right up on him, didn't it? No. No, that's a problem. No way. No. I'm gonna take more than the orange. Yep, arrow for that one. He's blushing. He loves it. <laughs> yeah. So the the human chimera ants are gonna be able to figure out and then. Mhm. Mm Yeah, this once they not happen. If they consume a, a, a and then use her, then yes. Yeah. Oh. And now he's pissing all over him. This is not good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh shit, man. Come on. There you go. This is his soccer in um, ant form. Getting too excited about this. Don't insult his soccer like that. What now? Oh. This is Cell. Yeah. They take Giro. What's his name? Gyro. Gyro. Yeah. Giros. Yeah. And a Nen user. 
Nah, man. Oh, no. Nah, They're man. into one. Oh, dear. The potential is insane. Oh, <gasps> no. What is happening in this arc? What? Was it the koala? Oh yeah, this guy. Oh! He likes the guns too much. Did you ponzu like that? What is he? He's eating her. Okay, I thought. At least she got the bees out. It should get her gone and. Kill her while, yeah. They're just gonna sprint. Use some Nen to get there. Yeah. Oh. Dude. What the shit is that? Leftover. Good gone, get angry. Oh shit, man. Damn it, I wanted to see one of them. All in due time, Angelo. I mean, shit just got really, really serious considering we spent the whole last arc playing a card game. I know. Yeah. Nothing quite as brutal as that has happened so far. They chose a good character to do it to. I don't mean that in a disrespectful Aww. way. I'm saying like Ponzu's like this cute, innocent sort of girl and they just absolutely demolished her yeah he shot the crap out of her and then he ate her so does that mean that he oh. can take on some of her characteristics now is that how it works or is the queen the only one with the ability to pass on dna do you know what i mean yeah i thought it was the queen okay so just because he ate her doesn't mean he now gains some of her yeah okay i don't think so yeah i'm pretty sure it's whatever the queen ant consumes gets passed on to the next line yeah okay. um and I kind of like the evolution that they're showing. So Colt and some of his line of Chimera Ants kind of um, are more dominant with the human genetics. Or maybe it's more of a balance. I reckon it's very half and half. And then then I'm going to assume that the next line that has Gyro and whoever some else. Some of the other NGL guys yeah, probably were taken. That's going to even... Further on the how human the chimera ants are going to be because yeah. the queen is realizing okay this is um the queen is pretty much only consuming the humans now so slowly yeah. you'd imagine that they develop into a line of yeah almost a hundred percent humans if I'm not mistaken I'm pretty sure Colt and his wave of humans were the first humans to be taken yes so that explains why like everyone before him they're kind of all like. We saw the cockroach and stuff. They yeah. couldn't even speak. They no. weren't that intelligent. And they weren't that strong either. Yeah. The interesting takeaway about Colt in this episode was that he actually started to remember some some things. He remembered his sister's name. Yeah. And instinctively said that he'd protect her, but then confused himself. Like, that's his purpose. So, like, serving the queen somehow protects her because he's, like, one of the only ones that is truly loyal to the queen from what we've seen. Like everyone's, everyone else sort of seems like they've got their goal. Yeah. Yeah. But I think he's confused. I think it, it's come to him, but he hasn't worked out exactly what it means yet. I think it's more of like, he's got that desire to do that, but he's still just serving the queen. I think he, he'll start to understand things though. It's interesting. I don't know how, what was the kid's name? Kurt. Kurt. That's right. I don't know how, like, his memories have transitioned into the the being somewhat. Mm. We'll see more of that develop. They ha have obviously introduced Colt as a pretty main character in this. Yeah. Um, main side character in this arc. He probably interests me the most at the moment. I also mm. like what they're doing, how they're characterizing 
his line of ants as well, how they've got more uh, selfish human characteristics and all of that sort of thing. Yeah. Could be their undoing in the end, to be honest. You saw what happened this episode. They ate very, very important humans that the Queen probably would have really wanted. Yeah, well, she won't find out about it. But they've got, what's um that guy's name with that hat? With the arrows, the rainbow arrows. They got Pockle. Pockle. Yeah. He's an end user. Yeah. So that's going to pass straight on to her baby. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. We we will likely get the next line of Chimera ants soon, and they're going to be the guards, and they're mm. going to be very, very human-like. And I think the, the king is just going to be pretty much 99% human and 1% ant, I think. That's what they're getting to, which is going to be pretty cool. Yeah. Um. I hope he has a really cool design. I think my prediction about Cult being the, not anti-hero, but the one that kind of changes in the end is pretty spot on because I think what's going to happen is he's going to progressively... Get his memories back. Get his memories back and then turn on the Queen. Because it, it'd be very mm-hmm. poetic because he's the one who's serving the Queen the most right now. Okay, I think it's all going to happen like when it's a bit too late. Oh, yeah, you know quite I mean possibly. So yeah. like the Queen will be dead. Yeah. It'll be the King then. And yeah, okay. Yeah, stakes are going to be really high. Yeah, I reckon they'll sort of build it up like that. I thought uh, Jiro's backstory was so good. Yeah, I thought it was pretty well done, uh, considering it was a character that we haven't even seen yet. Haven't even seen, yeah. Well, they kept referring to his dad as like the king or his god, and then um, he moved on and created his own empire. So maybe the king's genes are going to be predominantly like Jiro. Because he's got that personality. Well, what they're doing is they're trying to make an ultimate being, like mm-hmm. an ultimate ant. So the reason why I think they set up Jiro's backstory like that was more for the mentality of Jiro and and his persona. So I feel like what's going to happen is the king is going to be an amalgamation of Jiro's personality and how he was set up through the backstory. Mm. Okay. So there's like once upon a time slave that... He's filled with rage because of his yeah. father and how the Never universe be- yeah, betrayed him. So then you've got that, yeah, you've got that pretty evil, angry being, right? And then you'll have the powers of some of the Nen users, and that's how they're going to mesh this this ant together into one crazy-ass being. Definitely sell vibes from Dragon yeah, Ball Z. definitely. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. I, I really like the way that they've set this arc up. We haven't even gotten into the fights yet, but I think they're building up the reveal of the king really mm-hmm. well. Mm-hmm. I feel like they've done a good job at explaining exactly how everything works, how the genes get passed on, the the queen's role in all of the, in all of this, the squadron, and then they've characterized the ants really well. Yes, I think it's smart how there's no sort of unity mm. because there's so many different yeah. species involved. Yeah, it's like you can expect one species to like obviously follow the pack and have a leader and alpha whatever with like wolves and stuff yeah however when you're mixing all the species it's just like chaos i think there's going to be a culling though of them yeah well that's what the was it the penguin guy was saying yeah that like they've got to do something about it i think what's going to happen is when the royal guards come out because they're going to be more intelligent they're probably going to be more they're going to be more obedient even though they can think for themselves more, I just think because they'll have a higher level of intelligence, they'll be more obedient because they'll know the king's coming, right? right okay. Now, I think they'll then get tasked of absolutely destroying everyone who's not a part of this and all those uh, ants that are being very selfish, they're going to end up dead. I actually can't wait to see that, like some of these dickheads that we saw in this episode. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the dude with the gun needs to be taken out, like, immediately. Yeah. Yeah, he's really, really... I don't like what he did there. Ears. I don't like what he Spider? did. Spider? Next. Yeah, 100%. Pissed the, the me off zombie too. zombie spider. Yeah, no good. Do ants do that? What? Do do the queen ants kill off the weak offspring? Um, I don't know much about the ants. I uh, kill them as soon as I see them. I know about the praying mantis females. Okay, what do they do? Do they shit out the king After too? After they've made love with their partner. They, they kill them. They eat them. They eat them. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if it's similar with the ants. I'm not sure. Mm. I might need to brush up on my knowledge of ants, but... I watched Ant Bully that time, so I know quite a bit about ants. I don't. (laughs) I don't at all. 
But I think there are some pretty exciting episodes to come here. Yeah, I can just imagine. Like, yeah. once Nen starts getting involved, yeah, I can visualize, like, we're probably going to have so many different fights going on between, like, you know, our boys will probably get split up somehow. Yeah. Have to fend for themselves and all of that. I think they're going to be fine. Well, I, I think what, like, the way they're going to set it up is, like, the prologue is essentially them setting up how the ants work, um, mm. the ants building their army, and then that all kind of leads to a point where we finally get to see the king, and then there are the king king's royal guards. Then we'll probably begin the fights. Yeah. Um, which which will probably take a little while too. Mm-hmm. So there, there's a lot to flesh out in the arc. I do know that it's pretty long. I don't know how long exactly, but I do know it's... It's quite long. I think we're going to probably need some reinforcements. I don't think we have enough people. Yeah, I don't think Gon and Killua and Kite are enough. Like, I have oh, but they have gotten a lot really of hope strong. in Kite, Killua, and Gon, but that's it. Like, the rest of his crew, I, I don't really... No offence, but they don't really seem like they can do too much. It'd we be haven't not, seen. It'd be nice for Jink to show up, but he just won't. If his son's in trouble and in danger, no, he likes that. It's going to be that. some sort of lesson. He likes that when yeah. your son's in danger. So, he won't be showing up. His soccer, I don't think, wants gone to die. His soccer could show up. Okay. Probably not. He doesn't. Ha- How would he get wind of this? I don't know. They're gonna have to send their female out. <laughs> but they're in the country now. Mm, it's gonna be hard. There's no technology. Oh no, no. They sent. Uh, did some leave? Yeah, some left. Yeah, yeah. Kite's friends. I'm pretty sure. Okay. They're gonna leave. Right. Maybe. I mean, that would be smart. Leave. Go get the reinforcements. Yeah, I would say just abandon ship, but, like, the ants can fly, so they can just go to another part of the world and mm. take literally take over the world. Could become an issue, mm. yeah. The queen has done the most. Pest control. The, the queen, she has. The queen has done a great job. She's a hustler. Yeah, I do have to respect that. As a, She is a top waifu. She's not necessarily my cup of tea, but I'm just saying she has to be considered. <laughs> no, she does, Carly. She has to be considered because of her dedication. To the mm. king. I just want to reiterate, not my cup of tea. Okay. But I'm happy that you've um Yeah, I I have to clear. Yeah, I have to make fair judgments. Okay. Yeah. Do you think Kite survives this arc or he goes out in a selfless way? No, that's right. I I think he goes out in a selfless way protecting Gon just like how I like Kite, man. Just like how we saw him when we first met him. I think they'll do a full, full circle moment like that. Mm. Yeah, that's my vibe. He'll be protecting Gon, the child of, of Jing, who's Kite's really good friend for no reason. And, <laughs> it's his uh, sensei. Enough Jing slander. Yeah, they had a good relationship. That is his, um, he's got big respect for Jing. Why? I'm not sure, but it's fine. Yeah, I think they'll do something there. I definitely do. I've got that vibe 100%. Thank you so much for watching our reaction. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. It would really help us out. For early access to all of our reactions, you can support us on Patreon if you'd like. And yeah, thank you so much again. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.